one of the things that I just mentioned now is that one of, so I, I record all of this content and it all gets saved onto YouTube and YouTube is the world's second biggest search engine. And actually me, when I'm looking to learn how to do stuff, I search on YouTube. And one of the, the big learnings that I've had in the past year is to start to create content which has the search terms that people look for. So you could have a very clever caption, but nobody will ever see it unless they actually kind of search for it. So I've been trying to learn more about how to create content which fits in with what people actually search for. And one of those actually is, what is a board meeting? So the truth is for companies of all sizes, you have different tiers of management. You have people who actually kind of do the work. Then you have like your management level and then above them in kind of smaller companies, you will have owners. And then in some, probably most larger companies, but actually some smaller ones as well, you then have an extra tier where there'll be, there'll be some sort of board that sit above that. So what is a management board? Well, your company management is how you look after the day-to-day -day operations of a company so that it operates and basically does what it needs to do. So if you have a company that makes pens, you'll have the people that actually work the machines and make the pens. You'll have management that track KPIs and set in lean processes and stuff to actually kind of do it. And when you get above that, you have the ownership and also the board, chances are they will be as part of the same kind of people. And what you're looking to do there, as I mentioned on the last point, it's how to gain access to extra knowledge and experience to help this whole machine, to help the business be more successful than if it just operated on its own. So what you're really looking to do is have a board of people, a group of people that are paid sometimes, sometimes not, to give their opinion on what they would do to help advise and grow the company. Does that make sense? So what often you have, and I'm on a few different boards where I will often work with the management team all the way through, but often in terms of a board meeting, it could be once a month, it could be kind of once a quarter. And what you essentially do is that the idea is that your management teams within a business will often write a board pack or a board paper, or just a really short summary of what's happened in that month or that quarter, things to look forward to, what's gonna happen, any worries about stuff, uh, but also hopes and dreams for the future and also the cash and the financials, the performance of that month or that quarter, if that makes sense. And the idea is when that goes up to the board, it's to help guide and direct and basically decide what to do. Does that make sense? And within a board, you also have different tiers of people. So you will have executive members of the board and non-exec directors and members of boards. Non-exec uh, members and non-exec directors, the non-executive basically means they don't do any work within the company, if that makes sense, as where an executive chairman or an executive whoever actually does stuff within the company. So if I was to be um, sales and marketing non-exec direct for a company, I might advise on sales and marketing what the team should do to actually do stuff. But actually, if that was an executive position, I would also actually do it. Does that make sense? But what I would just wanted to do is often people don't know what a board meeting does or is, what to expect, how to prepare for it, and actually just um, what is it to give you more confidence when you start to get invited to them. Um, as someone that sits on them, what often happens is that maybe a week before, but sometimes it's just a few hours before, you will get sent a suite of information from all of the different divisional heads about you know, everything I said before, what have they done, how are things going. Your job is to then read the information, go into the meeting, and then within the meeting, there will be an agenda for what people want to talk about. There could be some new hires, some different things, and generally that structure should stay the same every board meeting. And then you go in and you listen. And actually the whole point is that you ask challenging questions to learn and give advice and actually figure out as a group, how do you take that company forward? And one of the big learnings for me is that it's to have confidence in your own opinion. 
People pay you for a reason because they want you to give advice that actually to sit there and stay quietly, you're not adding value to the team. So actually, you know, you're obviously there for a reason, but actually just in terms of what is a board meeting, in a most simple way, it's nothing more to be scared of than just a group of people that talk about the performance of the company and try and decide what to do. They just do it every quarter as opposed to every month. But I know that some people might not um, know what one is and if they search for it on YouTube, hopefully now they might have an answer. But it's also nothing to, to worry about. Um, if you are ever asked to write a board pack, keep it short, keep it snappy, um, just you know, give people the core information and they, they can always ask more if they want. But actually it's just it's that ability to communicate up and down a business to really help make decisions and authorize stuff which should make the whole thing better but actually it's nothing to kind of worry about or that kind of thing as well it's just something that companies do not everyone does some companies don't have boards they just the owner decides what to do or you know they just ask their friends and just wing it but the point is if you ever get asked to be on a board or become a non-exec um, just, you know, this is what it means and hopefully it might be some nice extra income for you or at least if you're asked to start reporting to the board. To be honest, there's nothing to worry about. It's just a case of do your job, do a good job, be open and honest and then actually give feedback and advice and stuff when you're asked for it. And actually that's how a really great way to grow your business or career. If you catch this on YouTube, please kind of feel free to reach out. If you've got any questions or anything, just shout. Um, and then likewise, if there are any other topics that you want me to cover, just let me know.